Welcome to my channel. I am now in Paris, France, and I'll be staying here for three full days. Actually, I arrived yesterday, but I wasn't supposed to do anything. That's why I did not vlog. But I met someone from Hostess Sister, which is the group that I found a host of to stay um, when I was in Brussels. Then we had like a drink and dinner um, together and saw the Eiffel Tower at night which is so amazing so right now we're gonna see each other again and behind me is the Pantheon as you can see and it costs 11 euros and 50 cents to enter so I'm a cheapskate so I'm not going to enter at all because I only have um, two full days to check out uh, Paris uh, the city of Paris and then on Friday November 5th I will be um, visiting Disneyland with the girl that I'm meeting so I found a travel buddy that's the perk of like one of the perks of traveling solo so you find interesting and like beautiful people people around the world and yeah I'm just so excited and let's walk around Paris This is such a beautiful building modeled by the Pantheon in Rome and it's just it's just like so beautiful even if I don't have to like even if I don't go inside I'm happy with all the photos and vlog that I can um, take here in front and the facade is just like amazing and I still cannot believe that I finally have gone to Paris and then there's another building over here, which is... I'm not sure how to pronounce it in French, but it's still a cute building or a beautiful building at my back. Like, every building in Paris is just beautiful. And But do not expect much. Uh, there are things that I don't like as well, but we can talk about that next time. But yeah, right now I'm just gonna enjoy all the things that I can do here. And behind the Pantheon, you will see Place Saint Genevieve. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's probably Saint Genevieve's Church in English. But yeah, um, it's so beautiful. I'm not sure if I can go in, but the doors are shut, so probably not. And oh my God, it's just so beautiful. Pantheon is right here and then behind it is just like this beautiful church and oh my god I'm so overwhelmed right now um, I did not expect that I'll be able to like see beautiful churches like this well I've seen some but still it's a different country it's a different city that's why like I'm, I'm still like excited hey guys so this is my Nepalis friend and you can introduce yourself hi it's Mila we are in Paris <laughs> she's so energetic that's why we had so much fun yesterday last night and yeah it was just amazing so it's a good company we had dinner we went to the Eiffel Tower and right now we're just gonna walk around see Yes, and she's so sh small, like uh, like my my baby sister or something like that. <laughs> this is my first time I see this kind of camera. It's cute. Hello, hello. <laughs> Behind me is the Notre Dame, which is under construction because, as you all know, it got burnt last year or before. Like it was just a sad news to. Um, here, but right now they are constructing it or constructing it. You're sad? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it got burned. I'm not sure why. Um, I forgot about it, but right now it's just full of scaffoldings. And uh, I'm not sure if it's like good to take a photo, but we're going at the very front to see 
maybe we can like still take a nice photo of the Notre Dame because we're here in Paris obviously we have to take a photo of the Notre Dame so in front it still looks good but at the back it's they're reconstructing it that's why um, you can still take a photo here that's what we did we took a lot of photos at the back and in front which is still nice but you cannot like really go inside because there's like a, a barge already and yeah that's why we're just gonna walk around and see what else we can do somewhere here and bonjour <laughs> see how crazy this girl is that's why like i love her already we've met yesterday and it's just so fun took a photo just for oh yeah <laughs> we can't where are we at we are at pyramid <laughs> <laughs> Pyramids of Giza. We are at Louvre. 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 I don't know how, to <laughs> how, say to it. It. how do you say it. Louvre. Louvre. <laughs> Please don't mind. <laughs> so we are going inside the Louvre. I don't know how it's called, but it cost 17 euros to go inside the museum. So. This is where the famous Mona Lisa painting of Leonardo da Vinci is and for um, students and European residents and citizens who are under 25, they are, free, <laughs> they like, are free, me. like her. <laughs> so I'm not 25 anymore, so I have to pay and um, gladly we found the same time because I think that's the the last time anyways last time slot. <laughs> that's the last time slot that's why we are going inside she's so lucky she she can like go enter the museums for free that's like a scheme here in paris where you can enter lots of museum if you are under 25 as long as you present your citizenship that you're from the eu or residency so totally cool And also shout out to my husband for buying the ticket for me. I did not buy it myself. And <laughs> I'm just so happy that I saved 17 euros because of him. So, je t'aime mon amour. Thank you so much. Are you excited? I'm very excited. You're very excited because yes. you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> yes, I can eat food with that money. <laughs> So it's like sometimes I feel like so old whenever this happens because I'm not free anymore like I don't have that I'm not entitled to that scheme so could have like saved me a lot of money We are 20 minutes ahead of schedule but the queue is so long we're not sure if these are like the people who are buying tickets and or like they're they're like they already have one and it's they're already scheduled to go enter but for sure they're gonna ask for your um, vaccination certificate if you have one so make sure whenever you are traveling anywhere in Europe you bring it because most of the time they ask for it how do you feel about the line Happy and sad at the same time. Happy because it's not more than when uh, people come in the summer. <laughs> oh, definitely. We have to wait like a long time. Yeah. So yes, I think this time is uh, quite nice to come and visit Paris because otherwise, like if you come in the summer, I think you have to wait longer like, queue, yeah. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had like around four hours. And really? And the. You see there, there is a cafe. Uh -huh. If you want a nice picture of this pyramid, uh, then you have to go th there and you can buy some coffee and take a picture. Uh, people will not be seen on that picture. People do you that. really did your research with that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I uh -huh. You want to you wanna go to the cafe? You want to spend again? <laughs> no, I don't want to We just spend. spent a lot yeah, last yeah. night. <laughs> But it's cute, right? Like, you know, of course it will be expensive. 
Neelam here doesn't even know that Mona Lisa painting or the famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci is in Louvre. He, she just knew it today and she just wants to go to Louvre because it's free. But she did not know that the famous painting where there are why there are a lot of people here is because of one painting and he doesn't she doesn't know that. I am very famous now. <laughs> So if you want to visit Louvre and you want to go in, you have to be here or fall in line or join the queue for about like 30 minutes before you your schedule because there are a lot of people and there's a long queue which like it doesn't really matter because it's like fast moving and then they're gonna check your vaccination um, certificate or health pass that uh, you need to have before you can enter. And we also have to wear masks, right? Um, but you know, this is the protocol, but yeah. Let's see how good photos that we can take with the mask on. But yeah, I'm so excited to see it. Uh, I know it's like a small painting, but you know, I'm here in Paris and just make the most of it. To be honest, I did not know that I'm going to enjoy or have fun, but this place is so big and it's well lighted because of like natural light blowing over here because of the glass and it's just so beautiful. It's totally 17 euro worth it. Thank you to my husband who bought it for me that I saved 17 euros to, to go to this beautiful museum and yeah, um, we're still looking for the Mona Lisa. Um, we don't know where it is, so probably like there are a lot of doors that we can go in. So we're in the second floor. I'm not sure like how really like this place is so massive. So we really have to find it. It's just so beautiful. Everything is so, so beautiful. The museum is closing. We did not even see Mona Lisa because we were so amazed with like the other rooms or other areas here in the museum. And now we even we did not see the Mona Lisa. Imagine paying <laughs> paying 17 euros to to visit the Mona Lisa. And we did not even see it because we were like we were so caught up in the moment that it was so beautiful. So I think like hopefully we can come back tomorrow and it's just so disappointing that we did not see Mona Lisa at all. I don't know like I, I feel so like mixed hearted. I know that Louvre, Louvre is just not about Mona Lisa but we came here to see Mona Lisa and we did not even see her. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed with myself. So if you visit Louvre, you have to visit early and not at this time because the museum is so big. So and they close like yeah. 5:30. Yes, and they close at 5:30. So visit earlier. Don't do what we did. So you can see like the whole museum and what it offers because 17 euro for a day ticket. It's so worth it.
since we missed the Mona Lisa, we are now going to a one-hour Paris cruise, which costs us 15 euros per person. And we chose to go in the nighttime because everything is just so shiny. That's why they call Paris the city of lights, obviously. But yeah. We're just um, departing under the Eiffel Tower. This is the Bateau bus. And we bought our tickets uh, through booking.com and we have to scan it going inside the boat. And uh, they're still checking the COVID pass, of course. So um, you have to have a certificate of vaccination to prove that you are vaccinated against COVID. Everything is just so beautiful. I'm still overwhelmed. I'm so excited. Um, we've been walking a lot and we stood in the bus for about 30 minutes. That is why um, we're just excited to sit down and relax as well. And let's do it. been to a lot of places. Um, at first we went to Pantheon and then we saw Notre Dame and then we went to Louvre with Louvre, not sure and um, we did not see Mona Lisa unfortunately so it's either we go back um, I have to pay again for that but let's see I'm not sure yet so disappointing not seeing Mona Lisa and paying for it <laughs> but like it's it's like Louvre is more than like you know Mona Lisa and then we went on a one hour cruise and saw the beautiful city of Paris on a boat and it's so amazing and right now you know where we are so <laughs> we're hungry and we don't want to spend that much that's why we are at McDonald's and yeah we just want more food instead of school food that's why we're here and that's it we're gonna eat our dinner and i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so much bye